20 years after 9-11, Mark Coates still works at SeaTac Airport. He was in charge of the airfield that day when everything changed. It seems like it was about six in the morning and I was already at work. And I got a call on my cell phone from the communications center and they said, you gotta come back here quick. A plane just crashed into the trade center. And it was like this riptide of information. You were numb, but you were in hyperdrive. And what seemed like minutes later, a terror attack a continent away became an emergency everywhere. So I think about 6.15 to 6.30, we were in contact with the FAA saying we're grounding 4,000 airplanes that are in the sky. 4,000 airplanes? 4,000 airplanes. And how many of them were yours? Probably about 100, but they didn't all come to our airport. They just grounded them at the closest reasonable airport. SeaTac's morning rush of planes and passengers had already left. Inbound flights ended up at other airports. Flights, they were at Payne, at Boeing Field, Portland, San Francisco, Salt Lake City. They were stranded, passengers everywhere. And choose your car, and then there's blankets in the boxes over there. And there were passengers stuck here. Concourses were cleared out. Nobody was flying anywhere. It's a zoo, it really is. But hey, it's what we got to do. Port police blocked off the drives, and nobody knew what was going to happen next. I'm ready to go home. By getting planes on the ground, the FAA hoped to stop any more airliners from flying into buildings and killing hundreds more. And I remember about maybe 10 or 11 in the morning a low flyover of an F-15 with not an airplane in the sky, it was, it, was, it was scary. We didn't know if it was a show of presence, if they knew something we didn't know. It was, it was eerie. There was confusion as flights were scheduled only to be canceled again. Coates said it would be three and a half days before flights really resumed. Security was tightened using existing security contractors who worked for the airlines. By October, the National Guard had arrived here and at airports around the country to help out. It wouldn't be until November before the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, was authorized by Congress. There was never a return to normal. No. There still isn't a return nope. to normal. There is not. But when did things start to feel like they were at least to something you would call a new normal? Probably about eight or nine months. You know, once the TSA got in their positions and National Guard left, and I think that uh, everybody was just different then. It was, we were all on alert. Sometimes it's hard to remember that this security setup now didn't exist before the events of September 11, 2001. That changed aviation forever. At SeaTac Airport, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.